So your academic classes in Ascend are online, but the heart of Ascend is community, and community only works if it takes place face-to-face. -face. That's why all Ascend students attend three live events, Apex, Basecamp, and Capstone. This video is everything you need to know about those events. Apex is the first event of the school year. This is the largest gathering of Unbound students. Every year, Unbounders of all different generations and classes, Ascend students get together to grow, to encourage each other, and to celebrate graduation eventually. It is held in the summer, most likely in the middle of August for a week. It is at the beautiful Timberwolf Lake Young Life Camp in Lake City, Michigan. So packing some items to keep in mind. It is the summer, so bring your t-shirts, bring your shorts, all those things. Bring a swimsuit. There is the lakes at the Timberwolf Lake Camp, and if you want to have some fun uh, in the water and all that, make sure you have that. Since Apex does have a graduation party, as well as sometimes unique events and galas, Bring something formal. For guys, bring a suit. For ladies, bring a dress. There will be more instructions from staff and other leadership teams on what to bring, but keep that in mind. Bring a notebook, something to take notes on. You will get a cool Apex t-shirt that is unique to the event. And there will be lots of opportunities to get Unbound merch. This is one of the few events where we are selling stuff. So bring some money so that you can get some cool stuff to wrap Unbound. So every event and every culture has some insider language. So here's the inside terms that you need to know so you'll know exactly what's going on and you'll feel like you belong once you get to your first event. So when you come to Apex, you'll hear lots of people talk about the cabinet. Now that refers to the leadership team that plans Apex. And when I say they plan Apex, I actually mean they do everything for Apex. Apex is an unusual event in that the entire event is planned, run, directed, and figured out by students. So staff, figures out the location, and then we pay the bill for the location, and then we do some advising, and after that, it's an entirely a student-led effort. They hire the speakers, they plan the events, they write the story that you're gonna be participating in the entire time, uh, they set up everything else. So when you hear the cabinet being referred to, that's the leadership group that's in charge of planning Apex. The other thing you'll hear people talk about a lot is rule number four. Basically, rule number four is don't be stupid. And then we go on and say, if you feel like being stupid, see rule number four. And if you have a problem figuring out the difference between stupid and okay, come to us and we'll let you know. Now, there's a lot of other stuff that you'll learn about at Apex, but here's what we need you to know about rule number four. It's kind of the shorthand we use for all of Unbound that says this. If you're an Ascend student, we expect you to be an adult. If you're an adult, then we're gonna treat you like an adult and we expect you to act like one. And so that basically means don't be stupid. In other words, we're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and that you can figure out how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to treat other people. And if we do that, we all need almost no rules for our events. So we'll tell you more about that when you arrive at Apex, but that's the shorthand for that if you hear people referring to rule number four. Finally, you might hear people refer to ATLs. That stands for Ascend Team Leader. So you're going to be part of an Ascend Team and Apex is a chance for you to meet that team but in charge of that team will be your Ascend team leader, your ATL. This is a student who's completed at least the first year of Ascend and has come back to guide the team and to mentor you, to guide you, and to show you how Ascend works and really is dedicated to you being successful in the program throughout the year. We're looking forward to seeing you at Apex and hopefully these terms help you to understand a little bit more about what's going on and make you feel a bit more like an insider. So Apex itself, you'll most likely be flying into Grand Rapids, Michigan, taking the shuttle, to the camp, or if you're driving, you will get instructions. If you're at the airport, look for other Unbounders. There's a ton of them all gathered at the airport. Just look for the energy and Unbound merch. You'll be fine. You get to Apex at camp. We unload the luggage. There will be a registration table. Just have your information ready, and you'll be ready to roll into opening ceremony. All right, let's talk speakers. Speakers are an incredibly compelling part of the Apex experience. This is an amazing opportunity to learn from people with different backgrounds, to learn from people with different stories, with different professional and life experiences. In the past, we've heard from some pretty phenomenal speakers. We've heard from authors like Eric Metaxas and Ryan Baumberger. We've heard from productivity expert Felicia Masonheimer. Heard from Navy SEAL Mike Ritland. We've heard from apologists like Sean McDowell and Shane Morris and John Stone Street. And what's more, these leaders are people who you typically would hear at a business conference, at a leadership convention. They're not the kinds of people that we usually have the opportunity to rub shoulders up against or to talk to as young adults or as college students. 
And yet something that is exclusive to Apex and a pretty amazing part of the whole event is that these speakers are often able to pour into students outside of their sessions. They usually stay on site with us. They're often able to do many different meals, sometimes even have one-on-one -on -one conversations with students, answer questions. It's a pretty amazing opportunity that really takes everything up to the whole next level. Every year, the cabinet creates a team-based game that runs for the entire event. The game often surrounds a unique storyline written by the cabinet and brought to life through media, stage acts, and team activities. This event has more free time than base camp and capstone, so students have time to connect with their team, build community, and enjoy the venue. The highlight of every year is Unbound Scott Talent, otherwise known as UGT. This is where students and alumni get to show off their amazing skills and talents. In the past events, we've had everything from musical performances and skits to dancers and stand-up comedy. Graduation ceremony is where we recognize students who have graduated from the Unbound program or their target university. Family and friends are invited to celebrate with the graduates. After the ceremony, we close up the night with music and dancing and refreshments, and it's always a really awesome party. Basecamp is the second event in the Ascend event series. So if Apex is the 30,000 foot view, Base camp is where we jump out of the plane, put boots on the ground, and really lean in. It's a skills intensive, and there are some specific skills that we really focus on in Unbound and in Ascend in particular. At Base camp, we cover time, we cover tasks, we cover relationships, and we cover resilience. Because no matter who you are, no matter what you do in life, if you're able to manage your time, if you're able to do productive things with that time, if you're able to realize that nothing that you do matters outside of the context of your relationship with your creator and the people around you, and if you're able to stick to things and to be resilient about it, you'll be able to be successful at just about anything you do. So, packing for base camp. We will be in a warmer location. So yes, bring your summer stuff. Bring your t-shirts, your tank tops, your shorts, all those things, but do keep in mind it is still January, so you might be surprised. Bring something warm still. Also, bring some games, other things you can do with your Ascend team. This is an opportunity for you to really connect with your fellow team members. This is the first time that you have a smaller context, it's not as much people as Apex, where you can work with your team and really get to know each other, have a lot of fun with games and other activities. Basecamp is also the place where you're going to launch your project. So in the fall semester, you've been planning, you've been brainstorming, now it's time to execute. So you'll be able to apply all of the information that you've learned and heard at Basecamp You'll be able to run different ideas past your team, past your leader. You'll be able to get feedback specifically from staff if you want for your project, and then be ready to launch that project as soon as you leave Basecamp. Basecamp is one of two events where we run two separate tracks of content. In year one, it's all about foundations. Students are building concepts, they're building principles, learning how to grow from the ground up. Year two is all about challenge, and the content reflects this. Students are expected to participate and to take things to a whole new level. Year three is all about leadership, and year three students will hold specific leadership roles at base camp. In sum, base camp is a pretty amazing opportunity to not just kick off the spring semester, but to also build some considerable momentum as you move forward through the next couple months, head toward our final event and the culmination of the school year. Capstone is the third event that closes out our school year. It is part of the third signature leadership course this event is held in the beautiful Colorado mountains. It is usually in the spring for about a week. Things to bring. Since we're in the mountains, bring water, bring a good water bottle, and altitude is a thing, something to keep in mind. Bring hiking boots so that you can go out and explore the mountains during one of our hikes, and make sure that you do have something, especially this event, to take notes on. This is a class, and you will want to be able to write down the things that your instructors are giving you. So Capstone is a little bit different than the other two events. Apex is all about getting you oriented to Ascend and being able to sort of lay out the big vision for the program and to meet other people and to meet your team. Basecamp is all about the practical skills and really putting them to use. Capstone is our most academic event. Now that means there's going to be a lot more academic work. This is part of your course and the, cor and the work that you do at Capstone will be part of your grade. It also means that this uh, event has the least amount of free time and recreational time. But don't let that give you the wrong impression. Unquestionably, Capstone is the event that almost every student said made the biggest of difference in their SEND experience and is the one that they found to be most meaningful. During Capstone, Dr. Jeff Myers, president of Summit Ministries and the instructor for the Signature Leadership Courses, attends in person and hosts live lectures, Q&As, and a coaching and mentorship practicum. 
Capstone is the second event where students will learn from two different tracks of content. Year one students are in the middle of taking leadership learning and execution, and their sessions have to do with that course. They're very academic in nature, very foundational leadership principle in nature. Year two and year three students are coming back with some experience under their belts. They've rubbed up against the real world, they have some actual experience, and now it's time to take that and reflect on it and really focus and take that to a whole new level. Ascend is not just an online college. Ascend at its heart is a community, a series of relationships, a network that we hope and pray will benefit you for the rest of your life. And the live events that we do at Ascend are designed to enhance, build, and create those relationships and that network. They're a lot of fun, they're also designed to be intense, and we cannot wait to meet you there. Be Unbound, I'll see you around.